Today I'm making vegan crunch wrap supremes. I don't know if you know me. If you don't, you might not know that I'm actually a vegan. Yeah! You guys know me. You actually <laughs> may not know me. I am a vegan. For the crunch wraps, you need a few things. Impossible meat, lechuga or lettuce, tomatoes, lime, frijoles or beans. <laughs> I'm gonna make vegan nacho cheese, so for that you need green chiles, um, jalapeno juice, diet cheddar cheese, or whatever vegan cheese you like. Since we got Taco Bell uh, like five times this week, like we always do, we have a lot of Taco Bell sauce in our fridge, um, so you can use that as well. Do you or think this is ready? I was feeling it earlier, maybe. And avocado, or avocado if you have it. Yeah, so those are the ingredients you need. Pretty simple, things you probably already have at home. Um, and like obviously you can always take things out or add things in. First thing I'm gonna do is cut this tortilla into like a circular little shape for the um, little crunchy tortilla inside. And then I'm gonna fry it. So... Cutting it. Okay, so I mean it's obviously not perfect, but it's okay. Ooh. Oh! Give the one that's salvageable to me. Yeah. Right, right, right. Now we're gonna fry them. And I'm gonna use avocado oil because um, that's the kind of oil we like to use. If you want to use something else, that's fine. I don't recommend olive oil because it doesn't have a high smoke point, so it burns really fucking easily. Okay, so while this while this is the water's evaporating, I'm gonna do a little chat. I've been watching a lot of PLL recently. It's a comfort show of mine. I was a PLL girly. Back in 2014, 13, 15. It's... I have a lot of opinions on it. The first two seasons are really good. But, you know, if you're a PL stan, you know, kind of starts going downhill season three. It's spoiler alert if you haven't seen the show, but I mean, everyone has seen it at this point, so... <laughs> I don't know who this spoiler alert is for, but... We all know that Mona is A. What?! End of season two. Season two, we find out Mona is A. Big reveal. Who guessed that? When I first watched it, I was fucking gagged. Like, I did not even know. Like, I had no idea. To be fair, I was also like 13 or 12 at the time. But regardless, that was a pretty good, you know, <clears throat> twist in my opinion. But then the show gets a little cocky because yeah! they, really, they did a really good job with, with that twist. And they start to like, I don't want to say like, make fun of the viewer, but they definitely don't take into account the viewer's intelligence. They start to put in a lot of bullshit that like, okay, the girls wouldn't actually do that. No human being would actually fucking hide a murder weapon at a frat party. Like there's so many things that they do that is kind of, you know, like questionable. They also start throwing a lot of like, like red herrings in as well. You can tell at that point that it really was just about the kind of getting the views, the money, getting, you know, good ratings, etc. But it's like, at what cost? Because then you're not like taking into account the integrity of the story itself. And also your viewer's intelligence. Season three is when it starts to get bad. Like really bad. Mid season three is when I'm like starting to dissociate cause it's so fucking horrible and it's really boring. This season kind of sucks. And then season four is like, okay, we're really drifting away from like the plot. Like we're losing the plot here. Like what is going on? I'm on season four right now. I've watched the show probably like three times and I know I'm talking so much shit about it, but it's so like campy and good. It's good because it's campy and ridiculous. That's why we love it. If you're a PLL fan, that's why you love it. And also to be fair, the first two seasons were not bad. Like for its time, pretty good. Besides the Ezra and Arya thing, that was just like not a great thing with and like all the weird predatory behavior of the older men in the town like everyone's a predator there something in the blood there so yeah i'm on season four it's not great so far we've seen element yeah, montgomery yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> aria's mom ella she gets attacked by a bunch of bees in the car Mona is on their side or something <laughs> We're looking for red coat, investigating Toby's mom's suicide. Yeah, some of it doesn't make sense. But in other parts, it's just like, okay, this is just filler. And it's really obvious and it's really fucking annoying. Especially anything that has to do with Arya. First of all, I feel bad because her character had so much potential. I saw something on Reddit that was like, oh, 
Arya literally did not have one episode that did not have a love interest. And that's so true. We get so many random past characters, especially season three, season four, where like there's just these random men who serve no other purpose but to like fill the time. Also, Arya is really not included in much of like the mis like the mystery solving anymore in season four. I've noticed she's really excluded from a lot of it, which is really sad. Let me stop my yapping and my cat is yelling at me to stop my yapping. Tortillas are fried. They're good. I know. Oh! I know. Impossible meat smells really bad. For oh those who tried it, you know it smells like <laughs> pus. Draining pus. What are you gonna use for the seasoning? Safflower oil. <gasps> Onion salt. Listen up, people. These are, this is a Mexican woman who knows her seasoning. Trader Joe's 21 <laughs> Savage seasoning. Because we saw him in Trader Joe's. PR like, package. 21, bro. Can you do something for me? And he was like... Here, this is exclusive. Ugh. Garlic salt. <laughs> For real here. Yeah. Hey! Oh. 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 This tripod I got, I, we got it from, this is my boyfriend. We got it from, uh, tripod I got it off the street, okay? <laughs> okay, let me finish my fucking sentence. <laughs> She's really mad. We saw my day them again. So you need to change your phone. So. Listen, guys, my fucking camera is crooked because this tripod I got off the street in front of a middle school. Drive, I mean, biking past. We don't have cars. Driving, I mean, biking past <laughs> fucking middle school. Office. She needs to go back to middle they. school. It's they. New pronouns are really big these days. We gotta calm down. That's ch children's meat. She makes up the meat. She's adding some more garlic powder because we like a little ajo in our life. I don't know what this camera's doing to me, bro. I'm like beating you right now. Okay. Salt is good for you. You sound like a five-year-old troll. Or it's good for you, water. Water really good for you. Like salt is good for you. We're salty beings, we need the salt. Salt bay. Shut the fuck up and cook, white bitch. Let's go. Okay, so Zoe and I, we keep a lot of stuff in jars because it's just like the, the gay way to do it, first of all. If you're a lesbian, you understand. If you know, you know. Also, it's just good for the environment. We have black beans. Guys, is that okay? Let me know. Tell me in the comments, is that okay? I think it's good. <coughs> I have COVID. Dude, this camera's making you like throw out the worst jokes. I have COVID. <laughs> something funny that happened like a, maybe a year and a half ago. This is like after, way after COVID is like a huge thing, right? This is like 2023. I had this Uber driver who was driving me to work and I sneezed because I have very bad allergies. And he said, uh oh, is that COVID? I was like, okay. Past this kind of joke at this point, you know, it was 2023 now. Am I stop? Okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna scare you through my eyes. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you a little secret. This is a little secret that a lot of people know. I do something because I'm lazy, I don't really want to like make homemade salsa. I put some el pato in there, just a little bit, just a little bit. The same one from earlier, Lowry's. It's Lowry's. Lowry's? Because I'm alive. You have your frijoles here. Just put it on the stove. So next up is the vegan nacho cheese. Now, this is where I'm gonna just tell you to kind of just eyeball stuff. Hey guys, so I realized when I was filming that that my head was not in frame at all. So basically, for the nacho cheese, you just kind of add all the ingredients together in the pan and like let it cook on medium low. And I also added some garlic powder. So, yeah. So basically we're just gonna kinda mash it up like you would any other ground beef or anything like that. Just let it cook till it's brown and ready. Come a little closer. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be assembling the crunch wraps now. I made some makeshift pico de gallo. Now I know, listen, 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 guys. Don't get all mad. I don't have any cebolla or onion. I apologize. I just had to use tomato, cilantro, limon, y sal for the... <laughs> oh, what was that? Guys, ghost in the house. And... I'm scared. <laughs> right, right. Matt right. I'm gonna stab him with a knife. I'm gonna take his life. Right. And she's my life, wife. <laughs> and that's right. And that's right. And she pouring the cheese. My Acting life. like a sleaze. Oh. Jeez. And I ain't no tease. Hey! <laughs> <laughs>
She ain't no what? Hey, hey, she got a Turk Pepsi. Oh. <laughs> Clipping it, guys. Ah, ready, go. Ready, one, two. Oh. oh my God, you. I'm just in dis disbelief. Guys, it's okay. It's all in good fun. Don't take after me, guys. I did fuck up, but you know what? Oh Zoe's just gonna be a much better. Hers is gonna be better because Zoe oh. knows how to cook. So Zoe's is actually looking a lot better than mine, of course. No surprise there. Really good at this kind of stuff. Oh. Do you see the browning on that? That looks just like Taco Bell. Whose toes are mugging who, guys? Comment below. We're not putting this shit on for free. Sorry, guys. You're gonna have to click the link in the bio if you want to access that clip. All right, everyone. Here are the final results. Who's is who? Who's is who's? It's really hard to tell. I gotta flex that shit. Look at how beautiful. My girlfriend did mog me this time. I and love you. Okay, she always does. Yes, that's true, but I always top you. So. What? <laughs> Have a nice night, guys. Have a nice day or whatever day you're watching this. And we're going to eat this now. Bye.